Hello. Welcome back to Balatra. Here on Hungry on Game. We had a quite the banger run with the abandoned deck last time we played this. So let's see if we can't keep going. We smashed purple. Now we see if we can get orange deck. Oh my goodness, that is rough. Shop can have perishable jokers. The jokers that will stop working. Dress set of mana rounds. That's, that's a lot. That's rough. Let's see where we go there. Oh, that was not even close to enough. Is this enough? 20 times 2 plus 12. 32 times 2. 64. That is not enough. Looking for a 6. Yeah, a 6 and a 6 only. I have three sixes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. None of you are six. This might be enough though. Okay, that was enough. I was resetting if that wasn't enough for what it's worth. <laughs> okay, so this means this is perishable. Debuffed after five rounds. I actually think this might be good enough to keep even though it's perishable. Or I can get a random joker. Getting paintbrush is really important. I do need a joker here to beat the next blind, but can I make? I don't think I can make enough money to buy this. Um, Let me check the blinds real quick. $4. If I buy this, $2 left, get four. Even if I win a hand out, fully okay actually i think i think i know what to do this also sells okay i think this will get me jokers don't have any face cards but my plan is to sell these jokers to help with sell these jokers to help with buying the voucher why did that not score anything I guess I, I'm just dumb. Whatever. Well, that was bad. Okay. Only made one extra dollar. So this is four plus one. Six, seven, eight. But I need to sell this as well. And then I don't have a joker at all. I think this is okay. I mean, Splash is my next best Joker. I have a very specific plan. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious what it is at this point. But my plan is to find a straight flush. <laughs> Which I think is enough to win. And this plus one hand size is going to get me there, is my thought. Two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Okay, this is not... For early game, I actually don't hate find the straight flush as a strategy, but it's gonna not scale all that well. Palette, more hand size, bonus cards. Um, I think we're gonna have to keep doing it for a while. Don't have enough discards either. Let's keep going. For eight. Wrong eight. I'm actually kind of curious how good this is. I've never done this, I've realized. I'm gonna need some molt right now. Fifteen hundred. I forgot I didn't get money. <laughs> No joker is rough. 
could buy this. Don't know what I'm looking for is the problem. I mean, I guess that's fine. What suit do I want to commit to? Doesn't matter. What's the boss blind say? Base cards. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to commit to... I guess I'm going to hedge. No, I shouldn't hedge. I should take out two cards. I'm going to go with clubs as the suit I'm going to eliminate. I'm going to sell this. Go next, because I need the interest. And then it's kind of whatever I draw the most of, basically. Looking for... Four, six. Oh, we hit ace, two, three, four, five. I think this means I can't hit seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? Yeah, the only spades I have left are six and nine. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I can hit six, seven, eight, nine, ten still. I'm going to try and hit this diamond flush and then the last straight flush oh that's a straight flush too no it's not it's close this i think is enough to win this end i was wrong i hope this is enough don't have splash anymore i think this is not enough okay I, you know what? I actually kind of like, well, not for this, not for this uh, first blind, but I actually kind of like my strategy in general. I think I'm actually resetting. Yeah, we're starting to get to the point, I think, where unfortunately, a lot of the game Becomes, becomes about resetting. <laughs> I won't reset here. If I miss, I will. Yeah, I think on this blind at least, the money is so important that I actually do think you end up resetting a lot at higher stakes. At least to start your run. I think this is enough. I personally don't mind running with six gold versus seven, so I'll keep playing. But I totally get when you're trying to beat the top stakes of the game, like you need every dollar you can get. Um, we are buying a buffoon pack. And then I'm gonna try this straight flush strategy again. Um, ice cream seems good for my strategy, kind of. Wish I had more discards, that would be good. I guess it's for this particular blind. This probably just wins, yeah. I do have a joker this time. Definitely the important note was that I didn't have a joker at all last time. <laughs> not gonna get to seed money. I think all of this is not good. Although Riffraff Eternal's okay. I'm actually down for Riffraff Eternal, that's fine. Red card, Gluttonous Joker. Hmm. Not so bad, actually. Should win with a club flush here if we can find it. Close. Okay. So not the straight flush strategy, but we have a strategy. I might have wanted to sell I didn't even think about that I might have wanted to sell a joker early for riffraff half joker is okay banana is okay I'm trying to think how much I want this red card I think I don't want it enough I could scale with red card, it's like, okay, but I think I was better off. I think I was better off just chilling.
not great. Yeah, not great, these hands. Probably selling runner. With like ceremonial knife. I've always wanted to do riffraff ceremonial knife as a combo and I just never get both. <laughs> um, I mean, ice cream is gonna go away. I think actually I just sell both of these and let riffraff keep feeding me. Keep egg, I have to keep glutton stoker. It's actually my whole game plan. I think I can keep scaling economy here. Oh, wow, that's really good actually. I think that's so good that I'm actually just gonna play crappy hands and let the hot flush carry me because it's the earliest one I have access to. I just had a lot of hearts to start this hand and then popcorn should get me over the top and then delete gratification is gonna make a ton of money. Then I have to figure out if I want to keep popcorn or not. Just to make another... Just to make another... Different joker with riffraff. Hmm. Do you want hone? Do you want Neptune? Sell egg. I think I'm selling popcorn. I'm just trying to get... I think I'm selling popcorn and just trying to get money. A little greedy. Sell this. It's just not good. Just save our clubs. Try and hit. It's going to be tough without the extra molt, but I think we can do it. I don't have to do this either, but I'm trying to make delayed grat work, obviously. Wow. That sucks. Uh, at this point, I think I should dig for the straight flush. Didn't find it. Close. I don't even know if this is enough. Yeah. I think I... I think I just got too greedy. I think I had to keep popcorn there. It happens. Don't know if this is enough to win. Full houses are good close, but not all of them win. It's fine. Again, I'll just take the... I'll take the $1 loss. Doesn't bother me that much. Oh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll buy this. Even though it's eternal. Now I'm just trying to play two pair of pair every hand. Fifty chips is a lot. I guess full house is also playable. Under this. And I just need planets to scale me up. Ooh. Eternal boot. Have to commit to making money. Have no way to make money right now. <laughs> I'm kind of in the like trying stuff and seeing if it works phase. Does this contain a pair? does technically contain a pair. Yeah, a lot of these drinkers trigger off quite a lot of hands, which is fun. Don't have any face cards. Good without these, because I kind of need the malt, honestly. <laughs> Full house also contains a pair. Nice. I think we can kind of let bootstraps ramp up here. Ooh, eternal delayed grat. That seems risky. <laughs> I like that I've said like I've I've been like, man, I don't know about this every single hand, and then just gone in. I mean this makes me money that I need for this. Like there is synergy here. 
This isn't a pair, but that's okay. Oh, it's 50 chips already. Maybe that doesn't trigger off. Hang on. Have I been playing this wrong the whole time? I think maybe. I need to pay more attention to Sly Jerk. I forgot it was foil. Definitely buying this. Oh, that's really good. If we have enough time, I actually think we're going to win effortlessly. Well, I shouldn't say stuff like effortlessly, but I think winning will be not that hard. If. Like, I think. Oh, Square Joker. I'm, so, I'm trolling. I'm actually trolling. <laughs> okay, I gotta focus. Like, I think this setup's really good. It's three Eternal Jokers, which is definitely a bit sus. Like, I recognize that for sure. This is this Anti's voucher, right? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it next. But I think this actually is very, very good if I play properly. I have not been playing properly. Also, I think I'm committing to pair and not two pair. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna buy this telescope and commit to two pair. Into pair, sorry. Square Joker scaling, which is good. We could go two pair instead. I mean, I'm pretty committed to the telescope line. Yeah, at this point, I'm just committed, I think. Well, I actually do think two pair is better, but... I don't know how easy it is to hit two pair. It's my only thing. Seems a lot easier in this deck. Okay, never mind. I'm committed to two pair. So I kind of wasted my pack, but that's okay. Like, if I don't hit two pair, having buffed... Having buffed pair is also good. But I should have just committed to my line. I don't want to discard. Uh, what do I have left? Nines, eights, sevens, sixes, fives. So this, I want to keep all this stuff. Okay, we're still doing stuff. This gives so much money. Oh, Green Joker is really good scaling actually. I mean, I have eternal Delayed gratification. Like, I am committed. But I actually think... Yeah, I'm going with two pair. I actually think that... To pay three more two pairs. I actually think that, like... I'm kind of there. What am I saying? Like, I think... Like, yeah, I committed to these Eternal Jokers, but I actually think they're good. I think that's what I'm trying to say. This was three two pairs, by the way. Now we just got to buy planets and keep the scaling going. But, like, I kind of have all my scaling built in. Like, I don't know if it's enough, but... Like, I kind of think it is. Buy Voucher. Buy this, I guess. Oh yeah, that's good. Buffing two pair. Yeah, all I... Well, what I feel like I just need to do at this point is ride the wave. Just keep buying planets that scale me. Mm, also, not dodge square joker. I think with this deck being small, committing to two pair doesn't feel that risky. It's definitely weird to like not want to spend money very often, but um, it's okay. Yeah, the the abandoned deck two pair angle is not one I've thought about, but it seems pretty good. A little more likely to hit pairs, I think. 
think that's how the math works. Definitely don't quote me. I've played a lot more two pairs than anything else, so... I'll just play a pair and trigger Square Joker. Nice. Yeah, I kind of just have to, like, commit to this bootstrap. Ooh, that's not ideal. That was actually worth more than I thought it was going to be. Might have to break delayed gratification here. Yeah, I'm going to, I think. Two tens. Three fours. Kind of a bunch of everything. I think it's just like this. Oh, green joker too. I forgot about that. Whatever. I think I need to like play two pair to make sure I win. So don't mind. I mean, it hurts to lose. It hurts to lose a lot there. I guess with the way those hands played out, I didn't actually need to do that, but I have all this interest as well. Eternal Egg, the absolute worst. Burn Joker doesn't really have scaling we can commit to. Probably want to buy Director's Cut at some point. I think I can wait because all of my money is also malt now. Uh, we'll play a bad hand to start. We have a decent amount of malt. Like these are just normal malt cards. They're not only for the hand tap I'm playing, right? So have like some insurance in that way. Also, Square Joker is just genuinely good. Nice. I'm afraid to play pair because of two pair, but I actually think I should just play pair more often. Interesting. Constellation seems extremely good. Could sell Square Joker. I think I need Square Joker actually. All right, I think we've locked into this line. All right. The only thing we're spending our money on is constellations. That's the only thing we're spending our money on. This did trigger twice, right? Pretty sure. I might lose, actually. I don't know if this is enough. Yeah, Slide Trigger does trigger twice. I'm pretty sure I lost. I was so sure. What do I have left? One ace, one ten. Don't have green joker anymore. 80 times five, 40 times four. Yeah, this is just better. I just don't think this is enough, right? Damn. <sighs> I don't know. I'm really enjoying experimenting. But I definitely feel like I'm... I just feel like I miss playing a lot of these lines. I will say, like, I think I learn more... <laughs> I think I learn more by just hard committing to lines. I can't buy that. I thought I could. Speaking of hard committing to lines, this is this is quite the line to commit to. Eternal Constellation that currently doesn't do anything. But uh, I believe in it. Ooh, barely cleared that one. Okay, glad I played the high cards. I'm not going to be able to buy clearance sale, unfortunately. Kind of priced into buying this. Pair, flush, full house. 
I'm just going to start with... Hmm. The better hands are also worth more. All right, you know what? We're going to do the straight flush thing again. Because that was my fancy strategy last time. We are committing to diamonds. No, I think the clubs are a bit more connected, actually. There are two away. I mean, if we don't hit, we're going to lose this hand. Please hit. Never lucky. <laughs> that might have been a bridge too far. <laughs> like I said, I do enjoy giving it a go. Wow, that was actually perfect. That was exactly the hand I envisioned when I did that. And I hit it instantly, so that was nice. Square Joker. I mean, I feel like I'm getting baited again, but Square Joker Uranus. Seems just too good to be true, doesn't it? Maybe we should have played a worse hand. Never mind, it wasn't that good. Let's play a worse hand. I think we do need to farm the chips here. Oh, interesting. Regular pair? Probably not enough. Nice. This better be enough, by the way. I think it is. Okay. I was correct. It wasn't a guarantee, though. Random joker for sure. Bull is... Oh my god, I got nerfed. I mean, whatever. Psychic is really annoying here. Try and get out as quickly as possible. I should have kept the ace. Don't know what I was thinking. It quads. I'm too good. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes you hit quads. <laughs> Game's easy. It's a good voucher. Hearts? I think I need the malt. It's not great with two pair. Actually, I think this was just bad. I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> Because I want the interest. Also makes bull slightly better. Oh, I have two pair. I maybe should have considered playing something worse. Never mind. It was bad enough. Perfect. Maximizing square joker. I think I do have to maximize square joker. To have a chance. Buy this planet? I don't think so. I think I'm actually just trying to save money. Might be a little tough ask, but we'll see. How much is this? Not that much. We actually might just be dead. <laughs> might be okay. Might just barely be okay. Probably the last one to be a big two pair here. Oh yeah, really big. Yeah, I'm like not playing this nine. I need aces. I have tens. I have one ten left. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Fish for a ten. Ooh, is that better? Sixty times seven versus forty times three. I mean that is more. Nice. Kind of like the straight flush thing where I'm just fishing for super good hands, but not exactly how I drew it up. I just like don't have enough at all here to do anything. 
I somewhat regret the line I've taken. If I'm being honest with you. I don't know how much Square Joker can really get me out of this. Like, I should just play higher malts, I think, because I have a bunch of chips now. Still not enough either. Kind of out of straight flushes to play. Huh. I have all these aces left. I have a two left. I have zero twos left. Is full house worth more than flush? Yes. Barely. Don't think this is enough. Oh, barely not enough. <laughs> hmm. Down for one more. Like I said, kind of been enjoying just experimenting, but it definitely lost me a bunch of runs. But like I said, I do think that the losses have been my fault, which is a good thing. Oh yeah, nice. I was like, either I'm gonna hit quads or hope this full house is good enough and I hit quads. DNA, I actually can't afford DNA. Rough gem eternal. Well, we have a plan. This is how I did well with my last abandoned deck run, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's, the nice thing about that is it makes interest instantly. Uh, let's play this. I don't think I'm going to play another flush. I don't actually think I have enough diamonds left to even do that. I have two left now. So let's play this. Okay, so what do we get with our money? Because we made quite a lot there. Oh, that's a banger. I think also grabber is good. Gonna need to scale. Oh, all the diamonds are debuffed. That actually smells. Well, I have one diamond that isn't debuffed. I. Huh, what do I do? <laughs> I could just play a bunch of flushes. I guess it's pretty low. I'm doing this to make a little bit of money. How many hearts are left? Three. Like a dollar? Hearts? Nice. Okay. Grabber definitely helped there. Didn't make enough money to make interest, but get a decent amount of reward money from this. Once again, committed. I also think I've seen more eternal. I feel like I've seen more eternal jokers. If this wins, I'm going to be furious. Okay, good. I think I've seen more eternal jokers since the stakes have gotten higher, which doesn't sound like a thing. But. Could be true at higher stakes. I mean, we're just getting all the flush cards, huh? I think we want tarot. I think one of the mistakes I made last time I played with rough jam is that I added diamonds to my deck as a way to trigger it more. And I think you actually just need to fish for tarot cards instead. I think that's just a significantly more efficient way to do this. 
This might win out, right? Yeah, this this setup actually, I mean, obviously ignoring Rock Gem because it's just an economic engine, but this flush multiplier and this flat multiplier from my flushes is like a generally good combination. Uh, like I said, more tarot cards. What's the boss blind also? The manacle, I will buy director's cut. It's a little pricey. And we just keep doing it. We actually just keep hitting the star. Cruising, fam. The fact that this gives you the money in combat is like so good. Uh, I'm gonna look for it. Seems well worth the extra five bucks. Two hands, we're gonna win anyway. So I made four dollars. Well, I paid five dollars. So I won five dollars by paying one dollar, playing an extra hand. So four dollars profit seems pretty obviously worth it. Don't think Rocket Eternal is where we want to be. I think that's a little too much commitment to the bit. But I'm down to open both of these, I think. Just don't go want any of these. That seems like probably a mistake. Like, I think I'm just playing too scared there, but don't want either of those. But I think, like, I just think, I think my deck is already so small as one of its big advantages that not taking advantage of that seems silly. Well, that's, this is the maximum return on investment, by the way. Got to max interest, one, one in two hands. I mean, I guess winning in one hand would win me more money, but... I made about the most amount of money I could there. Wow, that was a ridiculous hit. I mean, we just go next. I think Blueprint might have won us the run. It's not unlosable, but this position seems extremely good. Hmm. How much is the needle again? <laughs> yeah. I need a bit more, but I'm going to have the money to get whatever I want. Need more malt. Need more base malt. So I would like a malt joker. By Jupiter for sure. How much is the needle? 32. I think I can clear 32. Especially with that Jupiter I just bought. I'm not scared. Try and make the biggest flush I can though. Wow, we actually almost missed it. I think this is enough though. Nice. Okay, almost 6k for a pretty big size flush. We definitely need a little bit more. Might buy Seltzer actually. 9,000 hearts are debuffed. Oh, I meant to buy Seltzer first. That was a mistake. That was a pretty big mistake actually. Buy these boosters. Planet cards or a glass card? Glass cards are really good. That was the other thing I realized when I played a very similar looking run to this. Guess I'll buy straight flush. Uh, glass is a really, really good way to make yourself stronger. Seltzer needs to go down here. Oh, it's going to make me so much money too. I didn't even think about that. That's actually sick. That's actually so sick. I'm gonna look for a different diamond. I don't need the glass diamond here, so I'm not gonna use it. All right, well, Seltzer's sticking with us until... till the end. Two hands made 16K. What is the boss blind amount? Should really check on this one. 18 hearts are debuffed. Seems playable. This cares about hearts. I don't care about hearts. I could get a better Joker than Droll Joker, I guess. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Reroll. Reroll. Buy this. I think Popcorn's actually just straight up better. Go next. 
I need, I'm going to need a better scaler, but popcorns are perfectly good. Interim card. Where are all my diamonds? That's savage. Good thing I have this grabber for the extra hand. Waste my seltzer, which sucks. Make these better. All right, we're cruising. I feel like I keep saying that I keep getting punished. But feel good about my spot. What do I need here? Greedy Joker is pretty good. That's more malt than Droll Joker and more malt than... And more malt than popcorn. Even maxed, because five times three is... Oh, only 15. I'm bad at math. Okay, well, it's now about as good as popcorn, so whatever. When discarded, make a tarot card. Sure. Tarot does seem like the way I'm going to scale in this game. Guess I'll take the money. Christmas shell, about as good as Greedy Joker on this board. Jupiter is good. I'm kind of thinking Constellation or the Tarot Joker. It's going to be the ways I get big. Seems good. This justice seems good. Try this. Keep rolling here. Eh, it's expensive to roll. Nice, that was a good hit. Okay, let's make these malt cards. And I will make this five glass. I don't think I'm gonna use it right now. I don't think I need to. Oh, also I'm re-triggering right now. Okay, so this is way more malt with Seltzer, but I know Seltzer is temporary and I'm mostly using it to farm rough gem money. So I definitely wasn't thinking about that. Paintbrush is a good hit. Definitely want Taro. Trying to make more diamonds. Nope. Sad. Could sell Seltzer and make a random Joker. Doesn't seem great. Could make Hearts as a backup. Seems a bit worse than making a gold card. Actually, I guess at this point, I guess at this point I will make some hearts. Just because there's nothing else for me to do, really. Look for Jupiter here. Didn't hit. Feels bad. Straight flush, I guess. Our other potential out. None of this stuff looks great to me. Death is good. There's the fortune teller. I think this is what we want. I think... That was our best shot at scaling late. Now we have it. Do I want to make another ace? I think I just want to make another diamond. Do I want to make another glass diamond? I think probably yes. I think I probably do. So I think it is very good in the late game. Uh, we'll make a stone card. Okay, we'll just play this. Like, we're gonna need Fortune Teller to scale a bit, but I think it will scale up nice and big. When we need it to, two, three, four, five. Looks like we are gonna need our, looks like we are gonna need our, uh, our glass cards, kind of crazy. I don't think we need more than one, especially with Seltzer. Seltzer only has one spray left. Might sell it in this shop, actually. Didn't break. See a little bit of the power of glass cards there. Oh, I guess Blueprint should have been next to Seltzer the whole time. I think that was a massive misplay, actually. <laughs> I think I just completely missed that as a possibility. Whoops. I'm gonna... S oh, it's two hands. Okay, never mind. I'm not selling Seltzer. Kind of a good time coming up to sell it though. Uh, yes, I think this is 100% correct. And I think I should have been doing it the whole time. It even makes a decent amount of malt. Yeah, 
That's 100% what I should have been doing. Yikes. Oh, very nice hits. Make this a gold card. Yeah, okay. So I just missed a bunch of money. Oh, that stinks. How many diamonds do I have left? Eight? That's so many. I'm going to do this then. Believe that I can hit more diamonds and take a little bit more money before Seltzer pops. Bit risky, but it's okay. Uh, we hit pretty happily. Hope this glass card doesn't break, but whatever if it does. Damn. Shouldn't have said anything. Always breaks when you say something. <laughs> Keep buying Celestial Packs, I think. Yeah, sure. Keep buffing Straight Flush. I'll have to look out for them. I haven't been looking for them at all. Oh, also Blueprint can copy Rough Gem too. I've missed so many Blueprint interactions just because... Oh, I did mean to roll. That actually might cost me. Uh, let's make these bonus cards. And let's just hope this is enough. Actually, we should discard first. I mean, this is going to be a lot. Not quite enough. I think I can make a straight flush here. Um, hang on, I have to do like a lot of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I have four of diamonds, seven of diamonds. Two, four, seven, eight of diamonds all left. I actually can't make of sevens. I do. Okay, I can't actually make a straight flush. Oh, I should have copied the malt. Full house seems good. Yeah, I'm like not... I got blueprints so early. It's one of the best jokes in the game and I have been squandering its power. Have I not hit a 7 yet? I oh, know I have. I just missed my opportunity. It's almost a straight flush. This will do. I think we're just going to get out of here alive. Yeah, wow. Okay, well, almost threw my runaway. I didn't, so worth. Haiti chips for a flush is okay. We'll just take it because it's like fine. Do you want taro? Make some money. Jumbo. Should have bought the consumable slot first, maybe. Looks like it doesn't matter very much. I think removing two cards is best here. Buy this crystal ball, and then we should roll. I should be able to find something better than Crafty Joker. Buy this. Uh, I'm pretty sure the chicken is better than Crafty Joker. Just as it is. Oh. I keep clicking that when I don't mean to, which is not ideal. Let me see. Let me see how much this is without the times two. Just for the money. Not that much. Nice. Oh, it's a gold cup. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, let's see how much this is without the glass cards. Pretty good. Diamonds, I have like three. Not that many. I mean, this will win effortlessly. Just don't want my diamonds to break, but whatever. Could have probably rough gemmed here again. 
with the blueprint. Only one broke. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm definitely not optimizing here, but it's tough to optimize these cards. There's so many little things. Straight flush again. Still haven't really looked for one, but sure. Probably should have rolled judgment first. Kind it down. I mean, I... Oh! Wow! I wonder what the chances of that are. Probably not very common. Hanged man is good. Seltzer is good. I think Seltzer is good enough, actually. Spin the wheel. Yes. Driver's license doesn't have enough juice right now. Erosion's actually a decent amount of malt right now, but I think I think I want seltzer. Okay. I think what I'm about to do is good. Oh, I do want to make a steel card actually. Uh let's take out these two. And throw these away. I could have thrown away the stone card, I guess. Hmm. That didn't seem like enough money. <laughs> There's a chance that copying Fortune Teller is also better than copying the tribe. But I assume the big malt is worth it, given that I am hitting pretty decent malt numbers. Yeah. Um, we might miss and die. That would be very annoying. Holy crap, I only have three left. Okay. I'm going to play this gold card then. Because it's definitely not better than... It's, it's not... Like, I have to hit all my diamonds, which I did. That was extremely lucky. Again, kind of needs stronger scaling than Seltzer. Well, if you have glass cards, Seltzer's pretty good. Buy. Oh, I just buy it. I don't know why I was confused there. I was like, I don't want to use this. Don't have to. Straight Flush is really good, by the way. It's actually higher level than Flush. So I should maybe look for some. I'm pretty sure it still triggers the tribe. I think I should look for a straight flushes. Nice. So I think after getting all these tarot cards actually, I might be able to make enough diamonds to make a bunch of straight flushes. I can make six diamonds right now between the star and the full. That might be enough. Oh. I did keep hearts. I think... I think Smeared Joker is too good not to play. Supernova. 29 malt for Supernova. I think that is going to outscale Fortune Teller, actually, which is kind of wild. I'm not going to roll again. Can only play flushes. That's fine with me. Actually, I think maybe selling Fortune Teller was bad. I don't think it'll be that bad, but that play actually seemed kind of bad. I'm going to make these... Diamonds. Because diamonds and hearts are now the same suit. I want to make another star. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten would be a straight flush. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine would also be one. So I'm going to discard this ace for another tarot card. Strength? It's not bad, actually. How many... Hmm. I only have four non-diamonds, non-spades left. I think I'm just going to make these diamonds. Now I have... Oh, maybe that was wrong. Whatever. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is a straight flush. Uh, I could make some cards lucky. It seems good enough. I think I'll save this strength. I think I'll save this strength to... Oh yeah, these are also diamonds, so rough gem. That's poggers. Uh, I think I'll save these... Sorry, I think I'll save this strength to maybe hit a straight flush earlier. Or later. Later. 92,000. It's pretty good. I'll need to hit another 7. I have a couple 7s I could hit. Just to make a 7. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as well. Oh, crap. I did not realize that. I didn't think about that, but I have to play straight flushes now. That's... Ooh, that might be bad. <laughs> Could make a six and a seven. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wrong nine. Pick a nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, sorry, six. Oh, I still have to make a seven, I think. Um, I have a bunch of hands left. Six, five, six. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm very likely to hit. I think I'm going to have to use this gloss five. Where's my seven? Five. Sweet. Oh, no. Oh, I need a four as well. I don't have a four. Oh, I think I threw this away. Are you kidding me? Uh, a 10, 7, 6, and 2 left. Wait, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the only way I can make one more. I have a four and a two I can hit. Two, three. Yeah. I think this is right. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven would also work. I can make this a three. So I could make this two of hearts a three and get three dollars. That would use my strength card. Think it's worth it. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Glass on the end. Um, I think, I think it's enough to win, so I'm going to make more money, but if it doesn't make enough, I'm going to be mad. Okay, it did. It made a lot, actually. I feel like, so I was going to test it, and then it got really spicy. 
I was gonna test something, but then it got too spicy. Do does smear joker matter? It seems well four fingers is perishable, never mind. I was gonna say four fingers actually seems kinda of better, but it doesn't really matter. Open these. Neptune. I think we are on the straight flush straight flush plan, excuse me. Oh, it's the soul. I mean, I think this has got to be the soul, right? I need supernova. It's all my malt. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, I don't have any malt from supernova. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. How am I that bad? Okay, I think I can play flush then and it'd be fine. Oh my god. No wonder that was so hard. Oh, I am the worst player in ex existence. I don't think Kenny was ever doing anything, by the way. Also, I just sold Smear Joker, but that's fine. I'm just making regular. <laughs> it's been a wild ride. Runner? I don't think Runner has time to scale. It's good, though. Is it better than... I think it's actually better than Canio. All right. Wait, no, I have to make straights. Okay, well. I'm like falling apart here, I think. All right, you know what? All reliable. Ride the bus. I think we're okay, but like, it's been such a wild ride and it just feels like it did not need to be. So now destroying hearts actually might be good. But if I hit... I think if I hit... If I hit it again... I get rid of this too, honestly. Yeah. I think I get rid of these. I might find Smear Joker again, is what I'm thinking. I can't believe... I feel like there's so many different ways I almost threw this game away. Do I need to ride the bus? I don't know. Let's play a hand first. Now we can decide. I'm going to save my wild card for a second. Okay, that was not very much. So I'm going to need this. Also, I'm riding the bus, I guess. So let's... Now I'm going to do Supernova and see how much this makes. Yes, I am currently using Anti-7 as a way to test... Sorry, excuse me. I'm Yes, I'm using Anti-7 as a way to test. Don't... Don't at me. Make this stone cut a real code. I think that's good. Three diamonds left. That's fine. Now I'm seeing how much this makes. 32. That's actually not that much. Oh, that's adding 32 mol and that's only making that much. That's kind of concerning. I have to hit my last diamond. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Yet. I hope this is enough. Wow, that was barely enough. What am I doing? <laughs> I feel like I'm actually just running it down. Even though this run was like so one. I don't think ride the bus is the answer. I kind of want fortune teller back or I need another malt source. This is not cutting it. I think is the truth. I think the tribe is just not enough malt. 
in the latest stages of the game. Death. Just hanged man. Death seems pretty good here. This would be good if I still had smeared Joker. Could buy it and see if I find it. Popcorn? I think popcorn is better than bloodstone. Oh, I keep clicking that and I need to not. All right, let's see how much this is. It just does not seem like enough. I mean, I have a lot of hands to play, but... <laughs> Nine diamonds left. Can't afford to discard this. I only have red cards left in my deck. No, I have one spade and one club. Okay, I'll save these then. I don't know if I'm going to win. I think I can play two more flushes and I'll be okay. I have two diamonds left and this is a hot flush. I just play this hot flush and then play the last diamond flush and win. But it's not looking great. Uh, I think I'm going to actually use a steel card because I don't want to break this glass card. Oh, I should have also copied Rough Gem with Blueprint there. I don't understand how this is so close. Minus one hand size seems fine. Do I want to sell popcorn? Yes. I think I was probably going to sell it anyway. We will rebuy seltzer. Erosion? 32 extra malt from erosion. That feels like it's enough to keep carrying us. Nice. 37. That is more than that. Okay. I think I stabilized. I had to find Fortune Teller again after I sold it for no reason, but I think we're good. This is interesting. I'm going to discard here. Hmm. I think I'll actually make this a glass card. This. That seems a lot better. I think I just played these five. Guess I could hanged man this. Yeah, I think actually this is fine. It's a little like, little loose. Oh, if this is a win, can I not make another flush? No, I think I can. Okay, that one easily. Nice. Oh yeah, especially with seltzer. I think I have enough seltzer hands left to win with it in my deck. Loyalty card would also be very good. I think it's likely better than Seltzer. I also think that Hieroglyph is good. Because I have an extra hand. 
by this first. Red seal is very good. Gonna buy hieroglyph. Gonna sell seltzer. Gonna buy loyalty card. And then I can copy the loyalty card at the end. And I should be golden. I'm hesitant to say that because I feel like I've said it so many times. And I just keep getting punished. Constellation's not it this run. Sure, steel cards are pretty good. I'll buy this Neptune, that seems fine. Flips and shuffles all joker cards. I think that's the easiest one to beat. Wait, why is this anti-7? Wait, do I have to play this again? That seems mildly terrifying. I think this being a club is about as good as anything else. It's going to be a steel card, regardless. Loyalty card's not triggering for a bit. Okay. Starting to make much bigger scores. Jupiter, we will buy. The Foon Pack will open, I guess. Can't imagine what we're going to hit, though. I think I'm actually just going to save all my money. Well, actually, no, rolling hits. Uh, rolling potentially hits tarot cards, which is more malt for us. I guess the lesson learned is that you need... More than one malt source. That's what it feels like to me anyway. Like 40 malt is just not enough. 80 seems like a good number though. Two hands left. Buy this. That is nothing. Sure, I guess this. Man, perishable is brutal. I'll be honest. Let's make this a steel card. Let's keep rolling. Nope. Nope. Sure. Oh, actually, that's really good. Smear Joker, I think, has... I think Smear Joker is no longer the one. Uh, I guess Lotus Card will start moving. Which will be nice. That's Diamond. These two. Oh, which one's Blueprint? Oh, this one's Blueprint, I think. Wait, which one's loyalty card? Oh, this is actually a pain. I thought this was going to be nothing. Oh, that's such a pain. Taro. Uh, I'm so scared of getting this wrong. Oh, that's loyalty card. Now it's shaking. Whatever. Wait, that was not good. Oh, this is loyalty card. Oh, okay. It just wasn't on, I think. I think this is a blueprint. Risking it all. Okay, whatever. I won. I don't know what order the jokers are actually in. Oh, there they were. Well, blueprint was fine, but not near the loyalty card. I think my jokers are basically locked. Do you think we want tarot cards though? That might have been a waste of a roll. Okay, that's fine. I can sell a joker. I can sell supernova, I think. 
do we need to place some hands? Oh, I should use this. Nice. Okay, we'll go back here. Yeah, these are basically the same amount of malt. I think I can sell. Hope I'm right that I can sell. Supernova and still win. I think with glass cards I can for sure, especially with loyalty card. I don't think I care about planet cards really. I'll take the fool, I guess. Yeah, it's the fool is like getting to use a second tarot card. It's pretty good. That's really good. Three hands left for. Interesting. Um, I think this is fine. I should use these actually. Guess I'll make. Well, hold on to lovers maybe. Let me use these. Need to prep loyalty card for the boss. Nice. I don't think I'm going to get far and endless, but I think I'm going to win this run. This is a long day. <laughs> or a long run. Just a lot of... Just a lot. <laughs> this video might be... Might be my longest ever, actually, at this point. It's been quite a while. I think I want Emperor. Make this five wild. And then give it multi. Nice. Get this Emperor. I do need to stack up quite a lot of malt on this supernova. Because I'm going to lose it. Okay. Okay. Make a spade. Make a spade. Make a club. Don't need to make a lucky card right now. Maybe I should. Hmm. Maybe I should look for. How many glass cards do I have in my deck? Quite a few. I think I'm fine playing this. Yeah, that's pretty good. To that loyalty card. Sheesh. I'll keep this steel card, I think. I don't need these gold cards. Okay, let's see how this does. A lucky card. This is gonna pop. Oh, it broke. <laughs> that was a lot of. That was a lot there. All right, we unlocked a new deck too. Nice. I guess we came all the way here, so we'll do a little bit of endless. But I think I'm up to the final stake now, right? For a banded deck. This is such a funny episode. I just like ran it down. For so many, so many times, and then all of a sudden, I knew how to win. <laughs> oh, I had to sell my negative joker. Well, I didn't have to, but I ended up selling my negative joker. That's unfortunate. 
I don't know how much I can do without uh I don't know how much I can do without loyalty card active. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I had blueprint in the wrong place too. That's actually a pretty big deal. That makes my score a lot worse. Oh, that actually might be game ending. Wow. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, is that run ending actually? That might be. Huh, whatever. I think it might be run ending though. Yeah, it is. Damn. All right, well, that was good fun. Wow, what an absolute slog. We did like 30, 40 minutes of experimenting and then finally won. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more into high stakes Bellatro. It's good fun. Definitely kind of miss the vibes sometimes, but it's a nice challenge. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, considering tapping the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons, they certainly help out the channel. But most importantly, if you've seen this video, especially if you've made it, this part of it. I just appreciate you being here. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you next time.